Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and we are in the Rosewell Suite here at uh, CES 2014. This is the end of our second day of CES. And uh, this time I am doing this alone. We are not joined by Boo. Check the link in the description below to see some of his videos with the throne, which is in, uh, we, we actually have an awesome case mod from BS Mods where we did a, a walkthrough of that. But what we're looking at here today are uh, we have three new gaming cases that Rosewell is putting out. And the first one, this is the one I want to focus on. It's, it's a bit more interesting to me. I think it's more appealing probably for the, the mid-range system builders. It is a $120 uh, Rosewell Rise. So this one does come with one inch of cable management space in the rear side of the board. We have two two and a half inch SSD trays back there. And, uh, and then stock, it ships with three 120s in the front and one 140 in the rear. You can put in a 360 millimeter radiator uh, up here and, and here. So we also have a, a modular drive cage set up down here, which can be easily moved uh, if you do want to use a 360 millimeter radiator. One note though, if you, if you move it, you might run into issues with the power supply. So do check on the power supply spe spec if you're using something that's, uh, that's a bit larger. Um, I guess another item to note, the filters will just pop out. So you kind of, you pop it, pull it out and, uh, and you can wash it that way. So we don't have any screws or anything like that. And for mounting the drives, other than the, the modular cage in the bottom, we have this big black bar right here. And this does not have any normal drive scaffolding. We kind of, uh, you're used to seeing all the scaffolding in, in a case for mounting multiple drives. This is just one bar and, and the drives actually screw in kind of flat against it instead of uh, horizontally. And what that does is it reduces the amount of you know, plastic and other materials in the way of the fans. So theoretically we have better airflow. We'll have to test that and see how it does. Uh, it can be removed as can the other drive cage. So moving on. Uh, we have the Blackhawk V2, of course, based on the original Blackhawk design. Um, and we actually, I think we gave away a couple of these recently. So do keep an eye out for any other events like that. Uh, there is a, a one 2.5 inch SSD cage on the back sled. And other than that, pretty standard stuff. We don't know the, the fan spec yet. Um, we do have a fan hub here as in the Rise. And, uh, and then pretty standard mounting, couple dust filters. Um, and this one is priced at $100. So uh, it does actually, I think this one has this little pop-off magnetic panel up here, which I should probably not be holding too close to my electronics. And there's a, an SD card slot in the top, four USB 3 as of now, uh, normal power and reset. And then we've got fan controller as well. And finally, we have the Stealth case. It is priced at $70 as of now. Uh, pretty standard, low-end, you know, budget range case. It sort of actually reminds us a lot of the R5, kind of talking about that earlier. The R5, of course, we liked a lot. Check a link in the description below for that, as always. The fan spec, we have all 120s, two in the front, one in the rear, one at the top. And, uh, of course, you've got plenty of spots for more if you want to add more. And other than that, no, uh, no fancy fan hub, no fancy trays on the back because it is a cheaper case, but we do have half an inch of cable management space on the rear, which is enough for a, a, a basic build if you're doing a budget system there. Two simple fan controllers up here. We've got a, a high and a low setting on each one. So you got two channels if you want to set the front and the rear kind of at different speeds in case you have fans that are varying RPMs. Um, so that covers these cases. And next we're going to check out the Legacy U2, which is a, a, a much smaller case. So uh, this is the last case I want to show off. There are a lot of these tiny cases that Rosewell is putting out now. Um, check the link again for all of those in a write-up. This is the Legacy U2. It comes in black and silver. It's a four and a half pound, uh, pretty light, all aluminum case. So it does actually remind me a bit of Leon Lee, except much, much cheaper. It is uh, $120. Um, and for the video card clearance, we have 200, 220 millimeters. For a CPU clearance, we have 175 millimeters, which basically fits every CPU cooler. Uh, that you would want to use in one of these. And there's a 120 millimeter fan stock in the rear. And then we have a couple of, uh, of standard SSD cages in the bottom and on the side uh, in the case. Um, finally, there is a side window. So if you're building a, like say a steam machine, which are pretty popular right now, you can pop that in there, take it to your LAN event. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So as always, we will try to review a couple of these cases, get some thermals online for you. And uh, yeah, hit the links for all of the full write-up details, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.